my life made perfect with Rhapsody. It's Rhapsody time, reality time. Today is Friday, the 21st of April, and the title for today's Rhapsody message is So Much to be Grateful for. The opening verse is from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In your life, you must learn to count your blessing and be genuinely grateful to the Lord for all He has done in your life. A grateful heart is very important to the Lord. Some people hardly appreciate or recognize when they are making progress or when God is doing something beautiful in their lives. It's because they are negatively programmed. They'd rather wear a worried look, troubled all the time, only seeing their inabilities and what they don't have. Take stock of your life from the beginning of the year till now, for example, and you'll discover how much progress you've made. I'm sure you have learned some new things. Your knowledge and understanding of God's word improved. Perhaps you used to always arrive late to work or for meetings, but at the beginning of the year, you decided to work on it. Now you are always punctual. These are the blessings the Lord has made possible for you that you should be grateful for. Never think that such blessings are insignificant. Perhaps your prayer life has become richer. You pray better than you used to. That's a huge blessing. Always consider these and other improvements the Spirit of God has brought into your life. Center your mind on them and be grateful. Be thrilled by such blessings as the ministry and work of the Holy Spirit in your life. That's greater than any material blessing or promotion you could ever get. In fact, it is what will give rise to all other kinds of material blessings and promotion. Therefore, learn to be content and grateful for all things, serving the Lord joyfully, irrespective and independent of circumstances. Praise God! Let us take the prayer for today. Dear Father, You are great gracious and glorious. Your loving, holy, just and true. Thank you for your blessings in my life. The divine favours that you caused me to experience always. I am grateful, Lord, for your faithfulness towards me. You have given me all that pertains to life and godliness. Thank you for making my life the effulgence of your glory and virtue. In Jesus' name, Amen. I encourage you to go to these scriptures for a more further and in-depth understanding for today's message. Psalms chapter 68 verse 19, Psalms 103 verse 2, and Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20. Thank you for tuning in for today's Rhapsody reading and I'll see you tomorrow. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, 
I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.